Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features and the new enhancements in Ozone 9 Advanced. So we're just going to dive right into the thick of things and take a look at one of the new processors or new modules that's included in Ozone 9 Advanced, and that's called Master Rebalance. So this is a really unique tool. I can't think of any other competing plugin or any other product out there that, that does what this does. So the Master Rebalance processor allows you to adjust the volume of either the drums, the bass, or vocals in any audio track. So if you're working with a two-track stereo, you know, a two-track bounce down of a beat or a song, and the drums, the vocals, or the bass aren't mixed right, maybe they're too loud, maybe they're too quiet, you can now control that with this master rebalance tool. So let's, let's take a look at it on a beat that I bounced out, and I purposefully kind of adjusted the levels to be less than ideal, right? The bass and drums, aren't how I'd actually typically mix them and bounce them, preparing for a master, but I want to put the master rebalance kind of you know through the fire and see how it does. So let's check that out now. Now you'll notice that the controls are fairly simple. We have three different focus points. We have vocals, bass, and drums, and then a gain slider over to the right of that. So if you wanted to turn up your vocals, you'd select vocals, turn it down, right? There are no vocals in this beat, so we're gonna be working with bass and drums. Let's actually use it to turn up the drums. So I'm gonna select drums, take a listen, and turn the gain up a little bit as we go. So another new module that we get inside of Ozone 9 Advanced is called Low End Focus. And as the name suggests, it's all about getting more focus and clarity to the low end of your mix. So it's up on screen right now and you can see it. Now with it, it looks pretty simple, but you can actually get really surgical with the controls. So we have a couple different modes. We have stereo and mid-side, which is really helpful. We also have a slider where we, can, where we can control which frequencies the low end focus will be applied to. By default, it's set to 20 to 300 hertz, but we can change that, narrow that, and move the you know the low end around as well. So we can solo that band or hit listen to hear what's being applied. So the idea with low end focus is it allows you to add contrast and separation to the low end elements of your mix, not using an equalizer or a compressor. So what I was doing there was adding, using the smooth mode to get a little bit of the kind of honk out of the low end of the mix to clean it up a little bit. The match EQ or the match equalizer inside of Ozone 9 has gotten quite a big facelift. In previous versions, it was tethered to the actual primary EQ. Not so in Ozone 9. It's now its own processor, and with that comes some new features. So if you guys aren't using a match EQ, you really should. It's a great way to make your mixes sound like your favorite artist or your producer. Essentially what it does is it listens to the mix of you know, your reference track and then applies that same EQ curve to your track. So let's do that right now. Let's load it up and load up the match EQ. Now I'm not gonna play my reference track my reference track in the video because I don't want it getting flagged by YouTube, but I'm gonna be using a Juice World track. So all you have to do is hit capture and then play. All right, so there is the curve, the blue line, the blue plot. That's my mix. Now it's pretty close on the lowest end, but it starts to get a little bit of a deviation from the Juice World reference track in the 100 to 300 range. Now the cool thing about this new match EQ is I can hone in on the frequencies. For instance, his track had a vocal, vocal stacks, right? So there's gonna be a lot more frequency content up in the 
range of the human voice. So I don't want to apply that to my beat because that's not there. What I'm mainly focused on is this low, low mid section. So I can take this slider and apply it to just that frequency range. So let's take a listen. So the stereo imager inside of Ozone 9 Advanced has gotten a makeover. We have a whole new mode, so we have a couple different flavors that we can use to add width to our tracks. We also have per band control. So it's a great stereo imaging plugin or tool, and it's a great way to add more life to your mixes. So let's see if we can add a little bit of stereo width to the hi-hat, the high end of this beat. So the last thing we're going to look at in this video is the new and improved master assistant. So if you're a beginner and you don't understand a lot about mastering, but you want to get a track out there and you want to get your feet wet with releasing music, the master assistant is a great tool. So in this new version, we have a whole vintage module. So we now can have different flavors. We have modern and vintage. We also have more control over the loudness and overall EQ of the sound. And it's nice to have these destinations for streaming or CD. So you can get the loudness that's perfect for streaming service services like Apple Music, Spotify, etc. All right, so we looked at the five most unique and useful features that I think have been added to Ozone 9 Advanced. If you guys have any questions or comments, post those, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. I'd love to hear what you think about these new features in Ozone 9. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.